Hey guys, I got a request from a Mahalo fan for something very special that I'm really excited to show you. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop to make lightsabers. Okay guys, so normally I go with, through with you a step-by-step -step, uh, way to create a lightsaber from scratch, but the fact is there are ways to do it in a quick and efficient way. And the reason why I'm going to show you this is because, yeah, it's fun to make lightsabers in pictures, but for some people they might want to rotoscope lightsabers into video. And what I mean by rotoscoping is animating live action effects into video. Um, that's how they did it in the original Star Wars, and in a, in a digital way they still do it in the uh, more recent Star Wars. Um, and this technique is so fast and so easy that it'll make rotoscoping really uh, easy. It'll still be time consuming, but very easy. So the first thing I want you to do is go to a website. This guy created a bunch of preset actions for creating lightsabers very easily. It is Alien Rider Flex, A-L-I-E-N-R-Y-D-E-R-F-L-E-X dot com slash rotoscope slash actions underscore tutorial dot html. When you go there, you get uh, basically a full-fledged tutorial of its own, but I'm going to go through this with you in the video so you can see the effects quickly and easily. Now you're going to want to press this little button right here. It says Actions File. This is going to download the Saber Actions folder. What you're going to want to do is open up that zip file, which means you expand it, and, in, and for some people it works different ways. And you're going to find it somewhere in your computer. Now I've already created this and I've put it in my documents folder right here, Saber Actions. And you can see all these different actions right here. Yellow Soft, .atn, Yellow Hard, Red Soft, Red Hard, etc. Now we're going to go back to Photoshop. We're going to go to this little bar right here that says Actions. And then we're going to press this little fly up menu right here. And then we're going to go down to Load Actions. Now, as you can see, I've already been there. I've done this before, but when you find the folder, you're going to want to download all of these. So press and hold shift and click so you can grab them all. Press open. And there we go. Now what you want to do is grab the pen tool and you want to go up to the upper options panel and make sure that this little button right here, shape layers, is selected. This is going to create a new shape. It's going to be called shape one. It's very important that it works this way because the actions are based on these commands. Now, simply click around the saber. Try and be as accurate as you can. And then click at the end of the path to close it. Zoom back out and then open up one of the folders. Usually Redsoft is best for anything except for a really wide shot. And uh, because of the resolution of this photo, I'm going to click 10.0. And the difference between 1.0 and 10.0 is the measure of the luminosity of the blade. Basically that red or blue glow that we see around the white part of the blade, it gets bigger or smaller depending on the number. And then all we have to do is press this little button that says play selection and you're done. It's really that simple. And it creates the perfect lightsaber effect and it's very, very cool. As you can see, I've already experimented with other things. When my buddy Zero Kazama came in, he has his own lightsabers that light up, so that's why his face is lit like this. Um, and just had some fun with the different things. You can do this with anything you want, really. It can be sabers, it can be... Uh, you can actually do it in ways to create blaster effects, things like that. It's really simple and it's really easy. Alright guys, if you want to see any other tutorials related to Star Wars or anything like that, please send me an email to requests at mahalo.com, and please be sure to also rate, comment, and subscribe below. Okay guys, so I got a uh, request from a friend of mine on how to create lightsabers in Photoshop, and it's pretty easy. 